Article Cat from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Recorded on May 13, 2007. Read by Dalai Lama and engineered by Thorn Daddy. An image captioned cat with a link to other images of cats is provided here. Conservation status. Domesticated. Scientific classification. Kingdom, Animalia. Phylum, Chordata. Class, Mammalia. Order, Carnivora. Family, Felidae, Genus, Felis, Species, Felis, Catus. Binomial name, Felis, Catus, as named by Linnaeus, 1758. A link to the cat portal is provided here. Introduction The cat, or domestic cat, house cat, is a small carnivorous mammal. It is valued by humans for its companionship and its ability to destroy vermin and has been associated with humans for at least 9,500 years. A skilled predator, the cat is known to hunt over 1,000 species for food. The cat is intelligent and can be trained to obey simple commands. Individual cats have also been known to learn to manipulate simple mechanisms. See Cat Intelligence. Cats use a variety of vocalizations and types of body language for communication, including mewing, meow or meow, purring, hissing, growling, squeaking, chirping, clicking, and grunting. Contents 1. Anatomy and Morphology 1.1. Ears 1.2. Legs 1.3. Senses 2. Physiology 2.1. Metabolism 3. Ecology and Life History 3.1. Behavior 3.1.1 Communication 3.1.2 Social Behavior 3.1.3 Fondness for Heights 3.1.4 Play 3.2 Ecology 3.2.1 Feeding Ecology 3.2.2 Toxic Sensitivity 3.3. Habitat. 3.4. Life history. 3.4.1. Reproduction. 3.4.2. Genetics. 4. Etymology and taxonomic history. 4.1. Scientific classification. 4.2. Nomenclature. 5. Importance to humans. 5.1. Cats as pets. 5.1.1. Hygiene. 5.1.2. Scratching. 5.1.2.1. Declawing. 5.2. Domestication. 5.3. Domesticated varieties. 5.3.1. Coat patterns. 5.3.2. Body Types 5.4 Feral Cats 5.4.1 Environmental Interaction 5.5 History and Mythology 6. See also 7. References 8. External Links 8.1 Medical Issues 8.2 Miscellaneous Section 1. Anatomy and Morphology Cats typically weigh between 2.5 and 7 kilograms, 5.5 to 16 pounds. However, some breeds, such as the Maine Coon, can exceed 11.3 kilograms, 25 pounds. Some have been known to reach up to 23 kilograms, 50 pounds, due to overfeeding. Conversely, very small cats, 
less than 1.8 kilograms or 4 pounds, have been reported. An image captioned, Diagram of the General Anatomy of a Cat, is provided here. Cats also possess rather loose skin. This enables them to turn and confront a predator or another cat in a fight, even when it has a grip on them. This is also an advantage for veterinary purposes, as it simplifies injections. In fact, the life of cats with kidney failure can sometimes be extended for years by the regular injection of large volumes of fluid subcutaneously, which serves as an alternative to dialysis. The particularly loose skin at the back of the neck is known as the scruff and is the area by which a mother cat grips her kittens to carry them. As a result, cats have a tendency to relax and become quiet and passive when gripped there. This tendency often extends into adulthood and can be useful when attempting to treat or move an uncooperative cat. However, since an adult cat is quite a bit heavier than a kitten, a pet cat should never be carried by the scruff, but should instead have their weight supported at the rump and hind legs, and also at the chest and front paws. Often, much like a small child, a cat will lie with its head and front paws over a person's shoulder and its back legs and rump supported under the person's arm. Like almost all mammals, cats possess seven cervical vertebrae. They have 13 thoracic vertebrae, compared to 12 in humans, seven lumbar vertebrae, compared to five in humans, three sacral vertebrae, like most mammals, humans have five because of their bipedal posture, and 22 or 23 caudal vertebrae, humans have three to five, fused into an internal coccyx. The extra lumbar and thoracic vertebrae account for the cat's enhanced spinal mobility and flexibility compared to humans. The caudal vertebrae form the tail, used by the cat for counterbalance to the body during quick movements. An image captioned, A Cat Yawning Showing Characteristic Canine Teeth, is provided here. Note, this image has an uncertain copyright status and is pending deletion. You can comment on the removal. Cats have highly specialized teeth and a digestive tract suitable to the digestion of meat. The premolar and first molar together compose the carnassial pair on each side of the mouth, which efficiently functions to shear meat like a pair of scissors. While this is present in canines, it is highly developed in felines. The cat's tongue has sharp spines, or papillae, useful for retaining and ripping flesh from a carcass. These papillae are small backward-facing hooks that contain keratin and assist in their grooming. 1.1. Ears. 62 individual muscles in the ear allow for a manner of directional hearing. The cat can move each ear independently of the other. Because of this mobility, a cat can move its body in one direction and point its ears in another direction. Most cats have straight ears pointing upward. Unlike dogs, flap-eared breeds are extremely rare. Scottish folds are one such exceptional genetic mutation. When angry or frightened, a cat will lay its ears back to accompany the growling or hissing sounds it makes. Cats will also turn their ears back when they are playing or occasionally to show interest in a sound coming from behind them. 1.2. Legs. An image captioned, A Cat Jumping, is provided here. Cats, like dogs, are digitigrades. They walk directly on their toes, the bones of their feet making up the lower part of the visible leg. Cats are capable of walking very precisely, because like all felines, they directly register. That is, they place each hind paw almost directly in the print of the corresponding forepaw, minimizing noise and visible tracks. This also provides sure footing for their hind paws when they navigate rough terrain. Unlike dogs and most mammals, cats walk by moving both legs on one side and then both legs on the other. Most mammals move legs on alternate sides in sequence. Cats share this unusual gait with camels, giraffes, some horses, pacers, and a select few other mammals. There is no known connection between these animals which might explain this. 
Like all members of family Felidae except the cheetah, cats have retractable claws. In their normal, relaxed position, the claws are sheathed with the skin and fur around the toe pads. This keeps the claws sharp by preventing wear from contact with the ground and allows the silent stalking of prey. The claws on the forefeet are typically sharper than those on the hind feet. Cats can extend their claws voluntarily on one or more paws at will. Cats may extend their claws in hunting or self-defense, climbing, kneading, or for extra traction on soft surfaces, bedspreads, thick rugs, etc. It is also possible to make a cooperative cat extend its claws by carefully pressing both the top and bottom of the paw. The curved claws may become entangled in carpets or thick fabric, which may cause injury if the cat is unable to free itself. Most cats have five claws at their front paws and four or five at their rear paws. Because of an ancient mutation, however, domestic cats are prone to polydactyly and may have six or seven toes. The fifth front claw, the dewclaw, is in a more proximal position than those of the other claws. More proximally, there is a protrusion which appears to be a sixth finger. The special feature of the front paws on the inside of the wrists is the carpal pad, also found in the paws of big cats and dogs. It has no function in normal walking, but is thought to be an anti-skidding device used while jumping. 1.3. Senses. An image captioned a side face shot of a cat is provided here. A link to main article, Cat Senses, is provided here. Cat senses are attuned for hunting. Cats have highly advanced hearing, eyesight, taste, and touch receptors, making the cat extremely sensitive among mammals. Cats' night vision is superior to humans, although their vision in daylight is inferior. Humans and cats have a similar range of hearing on the low end of the scale, but cats can hear much higher pitched sounds, up to 64 kilohertz, which is 1.6 octaves above the range of a human, and even one octave above the range of a dog. A domestic cat's sense of smell is about 14 times as strong as a human's. To aid with navigation and sensation, cats have dozens of movable vibrissae, whiskers, over their body, especially their face. Due to a mutation in an early cat ancestor, one of two genes necessary to taste sweetness has been lost by the cat family. Section 2. Physiology. 2.1. Metabolism. An image captioned, a cat sleeping curled into a tight ball to conserve body heat, is provided here. Cats conserve energy by sleeping more than most animals, especially as they grow older. Daily durations of sleep vary, usually 12 to 16 hours, with 13 to 14 being the average. Some cats can sleep as much as 20 hours in a 24-hour period. The term catnap refers to the cat's ability to fall asleep lightly for a brief period and has entered the English lexicon. Someone who nods off for a few minutes is said to be taking a cat nap. Due to their crepuscular nature, cats are often known to enter a period of increased hyperactivity and playfulness during the evening and early morning, dubbed the evening crazies, night crazies, elevenses, or mad half hour by some. The temperament of a cat can vary depending on the breed and socialization. Cats with oriental body types tend to be thinner and more active, while cats that have a cobby body type tend to be heavier and less active. The normal body temperature of a cat is between 38 and 39 degrees Celsius, 100 and 102.2 Fahrenheit. A cat is considered febrile, hyperthermic, if it has a temperature of 39.5 Celsius, 103 degrees Fahrenheit, or greater, or hypothermic if less than 37.5 degrees centigrade, 100 Fahrenheit. For comparison, humans have a normal temperature of approximately 36.8 centigrade, 98.2 degrees Fahrenheit. A domestic cat's normal heart rate ranges from 140 to 220 beats per minute and is largely dependent on how excited the cat is. For a cat at rest, 
the average heart rate should be between 150 and 180 beats per minute, about twice that of a human. Section 3. Ecology and Life History 3.1. Behavior A link to main article, Cat Behavior, is provided here. 3.1.1. Communication A link to main article, Cat Communication, is provided here. 3.1.2. Social Behavior Many people characterize cats as solitary animals. However, cats are actually highly social. A primary difference in social behavior between cats and dogs, to which they are often compared, is that cats do not have a social survival strategy or a pack mentality. However, this only means that cats take care of their basic needs on their own, e.g. finding food, defending themselves, etc., it is not the same thing as being asocial. Perhaps the best example of how domestic cats are naturally meant to behave is to observe feral domestic cats, which often live in colonies, but in which each individual basically looks after itself. Living with humans is a symbiotic social adaptation which has developed over thousands of years. The sort of social relationship cats have with their human keepers is hard to map onto more generalized wildcat behavior, but it is certain that the cat thinks of the human differently than it does other cats, i.e., it does not think of itself as human, nor that the human is a cat. This can be seen in the difference in body and vocal language it uses with the human when compared to how it communicates with other cats in the household, for example. Some have suggested that, psychologically, the human keeper of a cat is a sort of surrogate for the cat's mother, and that adult domestic cats live forever in a kind of suspended kittenhood. 3.1.3 Fondness for Heights An image captioned, A Domestic Cat Standing on the Branch of a Tree, is provided here. Most breeds of cat have a noted fondness for settling in high places, or perching. Animal behaviorists have posited a number of explanations, the most common being that height gives the cat a better observation point, allowing it to survey its territory and become aware of activities of people and other pets in the area. In the wild, a higher place may serve as a concealed site from which to hunt, Domestic cats are known to strike prey by pouncing from such a perch as a tree branch, as does a leopard. Height, therefore, can also give cats a sense of security and prestige. This fondness for high spaces, however, can dangerously test the popular axiom that a cat always lands on its feet. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals warns owners to safeguard the more dangerous perches in their homes to avoid high-rise syndrome, where an overconfident cat falls from an extreme height. During a fall, a cat can reflexively twist its body and right itself using its acute sense of balance and flexibility. This is known as the cat's writing reflex. It always writes itself in the same way, provided it has the time to do so during a fall. The height required for this to occur in most cats, safely, is around 3 feet, 90 centimeters. To achieve this, cats probably relax their ventral muscles, flattening their bodies to some extent and creating more resistance to air. Cats without a tail also have this ability, since a cat mostly moves its hind legs and relies on conservation of angular momentum to set up for landing, and the tail is in fact little used for this feat. 3.1.4 Play Domestic cats, especially young kittens, are known for their love of string play. Many cats cannot resist a dangling piece of string or a piece of rope drawn randomly and enticingly across the floor. This well-known love of string is often depicted in cartoons and photographs, which show kittens or cats playing with balls of yarn. It is probably related to hunting instincts, including the common practice of kittens hunting their mothers and each other's tails. If string is ingested, however, it can become caught in the cat's stomach or intestines, causing illness, or in extreme cases, death. 
Due to possible complications caused by ingesting a string, string play is sometimes replaced with a laser pointer's dot, which some cats will chase. Some also discourage the use of laser pointers for pet play, however, because of the potential damage to sensitive eyes and or the possible loss of satisfaction associated with the successful capture of an actual prey object, play or real. Citation needed. 3.2. Ecology. 3.2.1. Feeding Ecology. Cats are highly specialized for hunting compared to other mammals such as dogs. Citation needed. This is now thought to be the indirect result of cats' inability to taste sugars, thereby reducing their intake of plant foods. Since they have a greatly reduced need to digest plants, their digestive tract has evolved to be shorter, too short for effective digestion of plants, but less of a weighty penalty for the rapid movement required for hunting. Hunting has likewise become central to their behavior patterns, even to their predilection for short bursts of intense exercise, punctuating long periods of rest. Much like the big cats, domestic cats are very effective predators. They ambush and immobilize vertebrate prey using tactics similar to those of leopards and tigers by pouncing. Then they deliver a lethal neck bite with their long canine teeth that severs the victim's spinal cord, causes fatal bleeding by puncturing the carotid artery or the jugular vein, or asphyxiates it by crushing its trachea. The domestic cat can hunt and eat about 1,000 species, many of them invertebrates, especially insects. Many big cats will eat fewer than 100 different species, although, theoretically, Big cats can kill most of these species as well. They often do not due to the relatively low nutritional content that smaller animals provide for the effort. An exception is the leopard, which commonly hunts rabbits and many other smaller animals. Even well-fed domestic cats hunt and kill birds, mice, rats, scorpions, cockroaches, grasshoppers, and other small animals in the vicinity. They often present such trophies to their owner. The motivation is not entirely clear, but friendly bonding behaviors are often associated with such an action. It is probable that cats in this situation expect to be praised for their symbolic contribution to the group. Some theories suggest that cats see their owners gone for long times of the day and assume they are out hunting, as they always have plenty of food available. It is thought that a cat presenting its owner with a dead animal thinks it's helping out by bringing home the kill. Citation needed. Ethologist Paul Lehausen, in an extensive study of social and predatory behavior in domestic cats, documented in his book Cat Behavior, proposed a mechanism which explains this presenting behavior. In simple terms, cats adopt humans into their social group and share excess kill with others in the group according to the local pecking order in which humans place at or near the top. Another possibility is that presenting the kill might be a relic of kitten-feline behavior of demonstrating for its mother's approval that it has developed the necessary skill for hunting. Due to their hunting behavior, in many countries feral cats are considered pests. Domestic cats are occasionally also required to have contained cat runs or to be kept inside entirely, as they can be hazardous to locally endangered bird species. For instance, Various municipalities in Australia have enacted such legislation. In some localities, owners fit their cat with a bell in order to warn prey of its approach. On the other hand, the cat may figure out how and when the bell works and learn to move more carefully to avoid ringing it. Domesticated cats eat fairly little vegetable matter. It is quite common, however, for cats to occasionally supplement their carnivorous diets with small amounts of grass or other plant matter to help their digestive tract, whereas bears and dogs commonly supplement their diet of meat with fruits, berries, roots, and honey when they can get them. Cats prefer to mostly feed on meat. All felines, including the big cats, have a genetic anomaly that prevents them from tasting sweetness, which, more than likely, is related to their meat-dominated eating habits and almost certainly related to their aversion to fruits and berries. However, many domesticated cats are known to like vegetables. The majority of brand-name cat foods are primarily meat-based but often contain large amounts of corn or rice, 
supplemented with meat byproducts and minerals and vitamins. Cats are also known to munch on grass, leaves, shrubs, and houseplants to facilitate regurgitation of whatever may be upsetting their digestion, or perhaps to introduce fiber or trace minerals to the diet. Cats are obligate carnivores and cannot live on an unsupplemented vegetarian diet because they cannot synthesize several required nutrients which are absent or rare in plant food. This applies mainly to taurine, vitamin A. Cats cannot convert the provitamin A that is abundant in plants to vitamin A proper, and certain fatty acids. The absence of taurine causes the cat's retina to slowly degenerate, causing eye problems and eventually irreversible blindness, a condition called macular degeneration. Cow's milk is a poor source of taurine and adult cats are generally lactose intolerant. Lactose-free milk is perfectly safe, but still not a substitute for meat. Some houseplants are harmful to cats. The leaves of the Easter lily can cause permanent and life-threatening kidney damage to cats. Philodendron are also poisonous to cats. Cat Fancy has a full list of plants harmful to cats. Some cats have a fondness for catnip. While they generally do not consume it, they will often roll in it, paw at it, and occasionally chew on it, as catnip is sensed by the cat's vomeronasal organ. The effect is usually relatively short, lasting only for a few minutes. After two hours or less, susceptible cats gain interest again. Several other species of plants cause this effect to a lesser degree. Cats can be fussy eaters, possibly due to the mutation which caused their ancestor to lose the ability to taste sugars. Unlike most mammals, cats can voluntarily starve themselves indefinitely despite being presented with palatable food, even a food which they had previously readily consumed. This can happen when the vomeronasal or Jacobson's organ becomes accustomed to a specific food, or if the cats are spoiled by their owners, in which case the cat will reject any food that does not fit the pattern it is expecting.